So let's run our application. And press here, you can see that this is a 6.6. .6. Okay. To make things even more clear, I'm going to change this one here. Um, I'm going to create a button. I'm going to call it pi. Here we are going to try calculating pi in a different ways. Okay. So how do we do that? Um, first, dimension pi as integer i equal 22 divided by 7 then msg box the, the pi int uh, which in the case I am using the integer then i ok then I am going to use the single dimension as a single and s equal to 2 divided by 7 it's exactly the same operation the msg box the pi single and s ok so now we run the application we press pi you can see that the integer it gives you the value 3 and uh, the single is gives you a value near to pi right okay so one might ask why am I using single uh, and integers why not only using singles and get rid of this errors okay the issue is this uh, there are two factors. First is speed and second is data size. Uh, integer values are processed much faster than uh, floating point values. So when you write an application and you have a lot of integer operations, usually it will be preferred to use integers to make the execution time shorter. Okay. Um, while if you are using a floating point numbers, you will have to uh, switch to the single data type which takes longer type uh, longer time to execute to those operations also usually integer data types takes less memory than a floating point data types uh, so it, it uh, also affects how much memory uh, your application is going to use okay so now we have just tried the integer and single and uh, we are going to uh, test uh, similar data types with more precision those are the long and the double okay the long let me change this one long the long data type is very similar to integer except except that it stores more information so right now dimension L as, as long okay and um, L is equals now I'm going to store the maximum value of uh, in this long variable long dot max value msg box L okay this statement tells computer to get the maximum value that a long can store and display it and store it into L and then I'm going to display the value of L the next one dimension I as integer and I equals integer dot max value then msg box I so I'm going to display the maximum value of long than the maximum value of i so let's see what's happening here now when I press here here we see the maximum value of uh, long which is um, well it's a very large number okay I don't want to compute how many digits that is while the integer you can see it's uh, very uh, a lot of digits uh, shorter okay so 
if you want to see this again this is the long and this is the integer okay so again one might ask why I'm going to use long why do I have long and why do I have integer um, it's the, uh, something similar to the single and uh, the integer the integer data type takes less memory than the long data type but it can store um, uh, lower values okay and the execution time for integers is faster than that of the long variables now um, I'm going to uh, I guess change this one a little bit to make it more a uh, little bit more meaningful max value for long is and L and this one max value for int is and I okay this one will be a little bit more meaningful okay so we run the application again I press this one max value for long is and max value for integer is okay now let's come back to our window we are going to add another button um, this one will be for the double okay the double works exactly like single but it's also have more precision so double click on this button. Dimension DBL as double. Okay. And then um, DBL equal, um, equals let's say 8.2 and as Gbox Gbox uh, DBL. Okay. It won't make much of a difference actually here. We will see the same result, no problem with that. Okay, so it, it, it's very similar to the single value as we can see here. Uh, uh, however, to see the difference, we are going to to, to modify um, the pi. Okay, this is the pi part. Sorry. Okay, just come here. Dimension d as double. And B equals 22 divided by 7 MSG box the pi double and D. Now pay attention to this when we run the application, put this one to the center. Now this is the integer value, which is absolutely wrong. Now this is the single, it's new. Now you can see this is double, which is has more digits into it. Okay, in other words, the, date, the double data type uh, have more precision, it can give you more details, can store more numbers, and uh, in the end it gives you more accurate results. Okay, so if a application requires more accurate, uh, more accurate uh, output you will need to use the double data type okay so those those four data types are uh, concerned with numbers actually it's not only these you have more data types um, for example you can have